Hello, in this video I'm going to go over how to graph a circle in the form x subtract x1 squared plus y subtract y1 squared equals r squared on the Casio FX DG50 graphing calculator. The standard graphing mode is only able to plot graphs that are y equals or by changing the type x equals r equals or parametric and uh, the inequalities as well. However, none of these are quite sufficient for plotting the circle in this form. It is possible to plot circles using, uh, for example, the parametric mode, although that comes with limitations, such as you can't find the intersection between that circle and other lines. Now, we could use the conic graphs mode. This lets us plot circles in the form we want to do here, or the expanded form. And I will demonstrate center of 5, 5, and let's say a radius of 10. We draw it, and we got our circle. The problem is, um, we can't then sketch, sorry, we can't then sketch another line uh, very easily. So we couldn't, for example, find the intersect between uh, a straight line and the circle. Now, even if we do draw something else, such as this circle here, that's a bad example. This circle here, we can't then find the intersects between them. We can find the center and the radius, oops, and the x intercepts and y intercepts, but it would be nice to have the, um, the options to find like the intersection between a straight line and the circle, or just to be able to visualize um, a tangent line with the circle to check if it, uh, your answer looks roughly correct. So to do that, we're going to need to rearrange our equation. We're going to start by subtracting x subtract x1 squared from each side of the equation, leaving us with this. We will then take the square root, giving us this. Important to take the positive or negative, or else we'll only get uh, half the circle. We will then add y1 to both sides, leaving us with our final equation. y equals y1 plus or minus the square root of r squared subtract x subtract x1 squared. The problem is we can't um, plot using the plus or minus uh, symbol here. We need to do it twice, therefore. Once with a positive root, once with a negative. And I will now demonstrate the same example of a circle with centre 5, 5 and radius 10. 5 plus the square root of 10 squared, subtract x, subtract 5 squared, and 5 subtract this time, 10 squared, subtract x, subtract 5 squared. Uh, and for anyone unfamiliar with the graphing mode, x is on this button here. You can then click F6 for draw. And there's our circle. There may be slight issues uh, at the point where they're supposed to intersect. It's the best you can do. We can then add in another line. For example, y, just y equals x. And then we can find the intersects between them by selecting, let's say, the top hemisphere, or the, the top half, and find it. And the straight line. And it'll tell us that the intersection point is 12 point, bleh, uh, 12 point, yeah. Okay, I hope you found this useful. Thank you.